Jai Gurudev, Namaste, Prashant, Rajuriji, thank you for joining us today to begin. Could you tell us about the blessing course in the art of living and its significance? Jai Gurudev, Namaste, the blessing course is a profound and transmitted program within the art of living that trains participants to harness the power of blessings for healing and positive change. It is a unique blend of ancient wisdom and modern understanding aimed at uplifting both the giver and the receiver of blessings. Many people wonder about the true impact of blessings. If things are destined to happen, what role do blessings play in our lives? Blessings have the intrinsic power to transcend what we perceive as destiny. They can create shifts in our lives by aligning us with higher positive energies and intentions. When you receive a blessing, it is not just a wish or a prayer. It is an energy transmission that has the potential to alter outcomes and bring about desired changes. People, But people often feel their desires are unmet despite seeking blessings. Why might this be the case? This is an important point. The effectiveness of a blessing is deeply tied to the clarity and strength of one's sankalpa or intention. If our desires are scattered or unclear, it is challenging for blessings to take effect. Think of it like tuning into a radio frequency. If there is static, the signal won't come through clearly. Similarly, a focused, unwavering intention acts like a clear channel for the blessing's energy. How can someone ensure that, the, that their blessings are effective? First, one must cultivate a clear and strong intention. This involves a deep inner alignment with, that, with what one truly wishes to manifest. Secondly, it is crucial to be hollow and empty, as we say in the art of living. Free from mental clutter and emotional baggage, regular meditation and practices that foster mental clarity can enhance the power of blessings. When a mind is like a clear still pool, blessings can manifest more effectively. Can you elaborate on the concept of becoming hollow and empty and how it relates to the effectiveness of blessing? Being hollow and empty refers to a state of mental and emotional purity. It means letting go of unnecessary thoughts, stress and emotional burdens that can cloud our mind. Just as a computer needs to clear its memory to function efficiently, we need to clear our mental space to channel blessings effectively. When we are in this state, our ability to give and receive blessings is significantly enhanced. How does one attain this state of being hollow and empty? Through regular practice of meditation, pranayama, breath control and sudarshan kriya, participants can achieve a state of inner calm and clarity. These practices help in removing deep-seated stresses and negative emotions, making one more receptive to positive energies and able to transmit blessings more effectively. In your experience, how do blessings affect the lives of those who receive them? The impact of blessings can be profound and varied. We have countless testimonies from individuals who have experienced remarkable changes from healing physical ailments to overcoming personal challenges and achieving their goals. It is not just about immediate results but also about a subtle shift in one's life trajectory towards greater harmony and success. For those who are new to the concept, can anyone give blessings or is it something that requires special training? While anyone can offer good wishes and positive intentions, the blessing course provides specific training that enhances one's ability to give powerful blessings. It involves learning techniques to deeper one's meditative state, clear the mind and align with higher energies. This training amplifies the natural ability to bless others and increases the impact of the blessings. Lastly, Prashant Rajuriji, what advice would you give to someone seeking to maximize the benefits of receiving or giving blessings? I would advise them to engage in regular practices that promote mental clarity and emotional balance. Be clear about your intentions and keep your mind free from doubts and conflicting thoughts. Meditate deeply, connect with your inner self and maintain a state of gratitude and openness. This will not only enhance the blessings you give but also make you more receptive to the blessings you receive. Thank you so much Prashant Rajuriji for sharing these insights. Your wisdom will surely help many in understanding and applying the power of blessings in their lives. It was my pleasure. Blessings to you and everyone seeking to bring more positivity into their lives. Take a day.